Hi guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. On my, my name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. Today we are back with another episode of the colour comparison series that I've been doing recently. And today we are going to be looking at quinacridone rose. This is a pigment universally across the board. It is typically PV19. Now PV19 is one of those pigments that can be a variety of different shades of violet, red, pink, whatever. And um, so there again, it's a bit hard to take them from face value because you could have quinacridone violet be PV19, you can have quinacridone rose PV19, quinacridone lilac, quinacridone, also a variety of quinacridone colors have the pigment PV19 in them with varying shades of violet and pink. So today we're looking specifically at quinacridone rose, which I believe is the most pink slash red version of a PV19 that we typically look at. And we've got it's 11 here to take a look at today. Some brands have this by various different names, but majority are called quinacridone rose. And, uh, and yeah, so we will jump right in. I am using Arches cold press watercolor paper and or 100% cotton watercolour paper and a Da Vinci Colineo size 8 round brush. Everything will be linked below and yeah, I appreciate it if you do use those links because they are slight, they are affiliate links where possible, which just means that I get a small commission and it doesn't charge you anything extra, but it helps me out on this channel. So first up we have M. Graham's Quinacridone Rose PV19. I'm not going to repeat the pigment information because it's PV19 for everything today. It's a really lovely rich colour. I like having PV19 as my primary red or Sometimes I'll have a magenta, but I do really like this pigment. Next up, we have Winsor & Newton. Their PV night, their quinacridone rose is actually called permanent rose. And it's also really beautiful. Winsor & Newton typically is a little bit harder to re-wet once it's dried. It does re-wet fine, you just sometimes need to give it a bit of time to soak in some water to get it really nicely activated Next up we have Da Vinci, they call theirs, or the version of theirs that I have, is called Rose Madder Quinacridone. And that's up here. I apologise in advance, I have had to put my lights on today because it's a very grey overcast day today outside and so I don't have a lot of natural light. Fortunately with the winter months coming this is probably going to be more the way things have to go. Next up we have Schmincke, their PV19, they have a couple versions but I've gone with their Ruby Red which is the closest to other quinacridone rose pigments that I've used or versions of PV19 so theirs is called ruby red
funny some of these are very much like the da vinci one is a lot more magenta leaning as is the Winsor and Newton compared to the M. Graham and Schmincke, at least in person. I'm not sure how well it translates on camera at the moment while they're wet. Next up, we have White Nights. They do have a paint called Quinacridone Rose, but as we learnt in the Quinacridone Magenta episode, they call their Quinacridone Magenta Quinacridone Rose. So that's nice and confusing. And so their Quinacridone Rose is actually called Quinacridone Violet Rose, which is their PV19 beautiful colour just sometimes the naming can be a bit confusing with their paints and again I know I've mentioned this a lot so I won't keep harping on about it but I think it's important to learn about pigments so you don't end up in situations where you buy paints and you're not getting what you thought you were getting because you you went off of the name rather than pigment information. Next up we have Daniel Smith's Quinacridone Rose. Again it'll be interesting to see which one's my favourite. This is one that I do really like. So it'll be interesting to see if this one stays as one of my favourites or not once it's all said and done. have Magello and theirs is called Quinacridone Permanent Rose. Mm, this one, right? Yep. Just checking my swatch sheet, making sure I'm grabbing the right one. up we have Sennelier and they have a couple of PV19s but the one that is closest to Quinacridone Rose is the one that they call Sennelier Rose Madder Lake And then we're going to go to Turner and we have their version which is called Rose Red. Uh, that's down here. Apologies if you can hear some light tapping sounds, that's the rain outside hitting the windows. Next up we have Michael Harding and theirs is just Quinacridone Rose, nice and simple. Lastly, we have Paul Rubens Rose Red. I just realised I must have dropped a splodge of water there, so let's just ignore that random patch. Okay, so we have Rose Red by Paul Rubens. And this colour doesn't actually come as part of the 24 set. I did buy this one separately. Um, I believe I purchased it on AliExpress. The only thing I will say about the 24 colour set from Paul Rubens, and this is the original 24 colour set, I don't know what the new sets come with. Um, it didn't come with a good sort of pink quinacridone rose type colour. It had a magenta 
and it had like a madder red but it wasn't quite pink enough and so it did miss it was lacking a pink color like this in the set it doesn't actually have a magenta sorry it had a violet okay so that's all of these now swatched out i'm going to set this aside to fully dry and then once it's all dry we'll come back and take a look at it in closer detail all right we are back the swatches have dried so let's take a look at what we have here today so we are looking at the pv19s quadacridone rose permanent rose type colors and doo -doo -doo -doo, which ones are my favorite i really like the michael harding one that's really pretty uh the daniel smith one is still really pretty get a nice dark depth in the in the mass tone m graham for me unfortunately i don't know what it is about their formulation i do get this really weird sort of mottling that's not particularly pretty i might be to do with my water um the kind of water can affect how your paints react i get something similar in the white nights um the sennelier one is really beautiful as well they're all really pretty to be honest even the da vinci one is the da vinci one leans more magenta than pink um but yeah like even the turner one is beautiful paul rubens is nice they're all really lovely to be honest i'd be happy with any, pretty much any of them on my palette i'd say the permanent rose from winsor and newton and schmincke's ruby red are probably the weakest it was harder to get a nice dark mass tone out of this color for those two brands so those two maybe not so much but they're still beautiful and i would still be happy using them but if i were to choose from these ones i think sennelier daniel smith and michael harding would be my choices but let me know in the comments down below which one do you prefer um do you have a favorite from this selection or do you have another one that you really like that i haven't included let me know in the comments below and i will see you guys next time all right take care bye